Let's talk about neckerchiefs. The bane of many a tender heart and explorer parents, unit leaders, coordinators existence. So my ideal, every tender heart and explorer's neckerchief would look something like this. Nice and orderly and neat. Uh, under or over the collar, let me know. I don't know if there's a right way. Let me know in the comments if there is. Um, unfortunately, a lot of the girls' neckerchiefs end up looking something like this. Um, and that doesn't have to happen. So I'm, I'll show you in a minute how to get like a, just a nice spiral and the nice knot and everything. But the key tip that I learned that I want to pass on to you is to tie the knot up around the girl's forehead. Put, it at, put, the, put the neckerchief from the nape of her neck, neck up around her forehead. Tie the knot. Then it can slide down and it's a nice you know, kind of a nice length, not right, not, it's not a choker then, it just kind of hangs down nicely. And at the end of the meeting, when she's at home taking off her uniform, she can slide off the neckerchief, put it on a hanger with her polo, her vest, everything else. When she gets dressed for the next meeting, she slides, she puts on everything else, then slides her neckerchief back on, and every single meeting it will look nice and neat. In fact, what you could even do is at your first meeting when everyone has their uniform, just have a little neckerchief tying session where the unit leaders and the Pioneer Patriot girls in your troop help the tender hearts and maybe the explorers can help each other do this. So now I'll show you if you want to get like a nice neat knot with the little swirls, I'll show you how to do that part too. Okay, so you have your nice new uh, neckerchief and a uh, quick tip if you want you could cut this tag off but instead of cutting it all the way off if you cut off the top layer and then cut off just a little bit of the bottom layer um, then you'll have a nice little thing you can write the girls the family's last name on here so if the neckerchief chief is lost you know who it belongs to okay so anyway you have your neckerchief and if you don't still have the creases in it, fold it in half this way first and put a bit of a crease right here so that you know where the halfway point is. Then you're going to start at this long piece and then fold slash roll it down. I'm kind of pulling out as I roll to keep it somewhat tight. And you're going to roll until you get to that midpoint crease. So you're, it, it seems pretty small. You're going to roll most of it away. And then you can see you get these nice little spirals in the end. Okay, and now we've got to take it back to Felicia, the dress form. Okay, the next step, and since I don't have a person that I can show this on, we're just going to get creative and turn Felicia into a jug head. Um, so the next step, you have this one. You put the roll at the girl's nape the nape of her neck, and it slides up a little bit because it's a jug head. Um, but then here you put, let's say this is the girl's forehead, and then you tie a square knot. So, Alicia, turn this way. Um, right over left, right over left, and under. Okay, and then you pull that tight against her forehead. I mean, not too tight, but tight. And then left, we're gonna pull left over right. So I'm pulling the right one over a little bit. I'm putting the left one on top of the right one and under and then through this little loop. And what that does is you see how this top thing, it forms this nice little bar here and then you pull tight. Now in this case, my spirals are, aren't as long anymore because jug heads head diameter is clearly bigger than my daughter's head diameter, but um, there you can see now you have a similar looking thing, and again, when Felicia the jug head comes home from her meeting, she slides it right off her head and puts it on the hanger so that it's ready to go the next week. <laughs>